CNN.com recently ran a story about the hidden incomes of the rich in China. According to the Weibo post that cites the article, those who are rich in China make a lot more money than Western media have previously believed because people don't report their hidden incomes, which suggests that the wealth gap in China is much higher than previously believed. According to numbers released by the China Society of Economic Reform, the hidden income in China is believed to be about a trillion dollars, or roughly 12% of the country's GDP. The hidden incomes include illegal cash kickbacks as well as unreported gifts. The numbers came from a survey of over 5,000 families in 18 provinces, and the results show that the top 10% of households earned nearly 21 times more than the poorest 10% which is significantly higher than the numbers released by the National Bureau of Statistics, which said that the gap is instead 8.6 times. The survey also found that rich families were able to make gains on their stock market investments, while middle and lower income families often lost money in the same markets. Now, while CNN ran the story as a news piece, most Weibo users were fully aware of China's gray incomes. So now let's take a look at what they had to say about the story. The report says the gap between the rich and the poor is only 21 times, while I think it is even more than that. I don't think the report is accurate. The report only takes into consideration the wealth of businessmen, but not politicians. If they included politicians, the gap must be over 100. CNN thinks that these wealthy Chinese earned their money from the stock market? What a big joke! Everybody knows the stock market in China is just one big scam. Maybe they made some money years ago, but today, unless there's insider trading, nobody makes money. At least the data released by the CNN article is more truthful than the numbers released by China's Bureau of Statistics. Statistics in China revealed by the authorities are never trustworthy since they all belong to the same government organ whose overarching goal is to make the poor feel that things aren't as bad as they think. The numbers don't matter. What matters is the stuff behind the numbers. The rich in China can get away with murder while the poor are left to be abused. What kind of future are we striving for? The income disparity between the rich and the poor is a very important social problem in China. Earlier this year, China had reported its Gini coefficient for income inequality for 2012. It was the first time that the country had done so in 12 years. A quick explanation of the Gini index is that it's a number scale from 0 to 1. A 0 stands for perfect equality, while 1 means that one person takes everything. According to China's official numbers, it scored 0.474 for 2012 and peaked at 0.491 in 2008. However, according to The Economist, there were many skeptics who provided some substantial research that suggests China's inequality is actually far greater. According to the Samsung Institute's own estimate, China's Gini index could be as high as 0.6. And the Bank of China's Financial Research Institute believed the number could even exceed 0.6 in rural parts of the country. Now, to put that into perspective, the World Bank puts the world average at around 0.44, and countries above 0.6 include Botswana at 0.61, Comoros at 0.64, and South Africa at 0.63.